It is gone. <laughs> I need a personal assistant, what can I say? And I'm not going to do this again, it is what it is. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. And today is Monday. Why do I always make these grand gestures? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I did say in my last video that I wasn't going to talk about the weather. But I'll just mention a little bit. Just one thing. It's cloudy and dark. You don't necessarily need a coat. So, with that said, I am wearing a jumper, a cream jumper, and a black polo neck. And I am wearing one of my favourite refashioned items that I did about a month ago, which is a pair of pants that now is a skirt. And I love it. I like the fact that I can pose in it with my hands in my pockets. So I'll bring you down in a moment so you, you can see. So I have worn this combination before with the skirt where I had a cream jumper. But that jumper was like a fisherman's jumper, a cable knit jumper, and um, same kind of colour, this is a bit different. I can make this jump a little bit more asymmetrical, even though in the last one I think I did, I actually took it, you know, doing the half top situation. I can't really do it with this jumper, which I'll show you in a minute, but I can still have that asymmetrical look. And you know I love asymmetrical. Um, this is quite a simple one, um, but you'll see what I mean in a moment. So let me just show you the back. And I've teamed it with this kind of necklace, it's not really a choker. It can, it can be a choker depending on you know how thick whatever it is I've got around my neck. <laughs> um, but no. So black jewellery I'm going to be wearing today. So I'm gonna get my rings. And then I'll get my famous tassel earrings. Yes, they are, they are clip-ons. I love my clip-on earrings. I've got no choice really. <laughs> my tassel earrings. So I'm a bit, there's a bit of glam in my outfit for today. And then I am going to finish it off with this bag. I love the shape of this bag. I just love the shape of it. And I'm going to go cross body with this. Yeah, I think that will be it. Let me before I do that though, let me show you the adjust so that you can see how this little simple idea makes this asymmetrical. So it's got zips. I love. And all I do is have one open and then there you go a little bit of ace check a bit further oh that's nice yeah I like that i've got my hand in my pockets like that. that is nice i'm liking that now i don't want to go wear my bag cross body it's going to go over one shoulder yes one shoulder yeah that's it. That's my look for today. I do have a video tutorial for this skirt and I will link it below. So I'm wearing it with my cream boots. boots. I just love this skirt. I stop toiling now. not going to mention it. You know what I'm talking about. And I guess this is the clue. <laughs> so I'm back in my very peri look with the top half of me anyway and I'm wearing my refashioned denim jeans which I love and I can wear it two ways which is a plus when you're refashioning clothing. Um, so yes, so my outfit today is quite casual today. 
So it's just basically this jumper and my skirt. I'm also wearing a lilac footwear, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm just going to team it with, I was thinking about whether I should go for this bag, just wear it cross body, which will go well. And, and particularly because I don't have any jewelry on, apart from silver earrings. Um, yes, I was in two minds. So I decided that when I was in that two minds sort of thing, it's a case of what kind of look am I looking for for today? Am I going to go casual or am I going to go smart casual? Even though this is a bit glitzy, it, putting it cross body would make it casual smart, no casual for me, um, but I wanted a bit more of a chic, smart look to my outfit, so I'm going for my very peri bag, and I'll just carry it from the top angle. If I need to, uh, I do have a chain to put it on the body, but more than likely I'll just wear it that way. So that is my outfit for today. You are well if you're new to my channel. I'm Colleen Geely. Hello fashion sewers, how are you? So my outfits of the week Friday videos. I hope you are enjoying them. Please let me know in the comments if you are. The reason why I do my Friday outfits of the week is to inspire you and show you how I would team my refashion projects in with along with my garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also so and some high street pieces as well, so ready to wear garments. So I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you and motivating you in order for you to refashion any garments because as you um, I'm not sure many of you may know that back in the day um, I did a lot of sewing techniques and I've put sewing techniques in the description whenever I do video tutorials to help you with your project as you sew your project. You can always click on those videos, it will teach you in depth about certain technique that I will be um, using in a project. I can't really do that in my projects because my videos will be very long and I'm very worthy and um, of your time so I do thank you for watching my videos but like I said please click on those because it will really help you with your project to get a professional looking finish to your garments. So going back to my outfits for Friday I hope they are inspiring you and um, if you want me to do a bit more in depth of my clothing I will do because I don't want to take up too much of your time so um, I do talk about the weather quite a bit <laughs> I'm gonna fall back on that as much as I possibly can and um, so yes yeah, so let's just get into the video and um, yeah I, I hope you enjoy it I'm wearing my favorite skirt of the week of the month and um, possibly of the season <laughs> it's so cute it is and it used to be a dress I just love the way it moves, I do. All the different um, angles of pleats and different fabrics. There's uh, cotton, there's like a chiffon, which is, they're all, they are polyester. But no, I just, and these so-called knot pockets. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a cute skirt, yeah. I'm not a person who wears skirts at this length, but um, yeah, I can say to get somewhere for sure yeah i'm loving it it's fun anyway let me continue dressing myself um because you may be here for a while not too long not too long um i just because the skirt is so busy i want the rest of me to be busy so including my hair let me start with my hair and then work my way work my way down so my hair my hair i did not do this hairstyle I did do the hairstyle but what I mean is I didn't style it this way to go with this outfit what I did was I just pulled my hair up and um, while I was putting my makeup on 
that's it because we've still got still got a hair clip in there and this one fell down it didn't, didn't quite catch into this because my hair isn't long enough to go all the way around there and that is just doing what he wants to do so I obviously missed that one out and yeah and that is just yeah so I decided what I'll do is I'll help this hairstyle a little bit by pulling this one out and I'm happy with the way it looks they think it's kind of goes with my outfit well I think so <laughs> um, so I'm wearing a choker oh you've seen this choker lots and lots of times yes it's something that I've made it's kind of I've had it for a while but I haven't worn it that often and I think it's because it doesn't I love this this is me <laughs> I love all this kind of rose flo um, flower effects that's happening here I just love um, I don't think it's a great fit I don't think it complements me that well but it's always about how you style it isn't it so it's got a big button here so what I'm going to do is unbutton it and then I'm going to cross it over now that's a better fit just simply doing that is a better fit but it's not going to stay in position unless I either put a press up there but I'm going to be wearing a belt so I'm going to go for this belt with a silver buckle put that around me well can you see how that is kind of snatched in my waistline and it's actually sitting on my um, natural waistline as well I've got a short torso and long legs oh that's so cute I hate when this happens don't you you know belts should really come with two little tabs here but they just you really think about it when you are wearing it with a garment that is anyway you should do but there is a trick that um, I do do in order to get this one to not flap around but your time is valuable so I'm not even gonna, we'll just leave it as is you know what I mean you know what I mean so that looks gorgeous already so at some point I'm gonna put a crest up there at some point so that will stay <gasps> looks gorgeous already and the sleeves weren't initially this long um, it's it's wool and mohair so I stretch when there's a technique that you can do for natural fibers I'll just quickly talk you through this in order to stretch and knitwear but you have to be really careful there is an arch pressing because I want this sleeves to be this length rather than there where it was originally so as you can see I press it so it's longer anyway moving on to this gorgeous skirt so let me just give you a twirl one a little bit of gathers that back where the belt is should be great okay so this is what I'm talking about I, I prefer my skirt to be a little bit longer but it's just sitting um, just on my just below my knees halfway across my kneecaps um, no <laughs> I'm happy with that and I'm wearing it with these cut out front toe ankle boots which is so cute, it just adds to the look and proportion of my garments, the cardigan and the skirt and then the footwear. So, you know, before I actually came down to a skirt, I should have finished off um, with my jewellery, shouldn't I? Anyway, that makes me want to show you my bag and then we go back to jewellery. Let's do it a bit different today. And the bag I'm going to go for is going to be this one so here we've got another bag that's quite busy and I do have a video tutorial for this bag which is so cute I do actually want to add more fringing to this so if ever I see anything in the charity shops I will definitely be adding a lot more fringing to this because it's so cute and it goes well with what I'm wearing as well it really is okay so I've shown you that let me show you my jewellery let me just give you a little twirl. So I'm going to be 
wearing this. Believe it or not, that used to be an earring back in the day. <laughs> yes, back in the, um, dare I say, the 80s. <laughs> yes, I don't know where the other one is. And so I saved it, the one that I have, and made it into a necklace. I'm going to spoil my hairstyle. So that is too, that's too long because it's interfering with this. So I want to shorten it. So what I do is I just pull it up where I want it. Let me show you. It's tight and not like so. And then tuck that inside. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's where I want it. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And then I'm going for black ring, but I'm going to go for one. And that's got little diamonds in it. I wish. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on one finger. Well, obviously on one finger. <laughs> My index finger, yes. Um, so yeah. Wow, oh, that's gorgeous already. And then... I'm going for my dangly earrings. I'm almost done. I'm, seriously, I'm almost done. Um, and yes, I no, well, not and. I did actually refashion these earrings. It's, it was just like that, and I had a tassel. So that goes with the bag. <gasps> yes, loving. Whoa. I've just noticed my next project is behind me. You can't look at that. It is gone. <laughs> I need a personal assistant, what can I say? And I'm not gonna do this again, it is what it is. It seriously is what it is. <laughs> that was our next project, um, which I'm sure you're going to love. Um, so where was I? Oh yeah, I'm almost done now, aren't I? Um, just, yeah, so I've got my jewellery on, my hair still, my jewellery's done, got my belt on, and yeah, my ring, and to finish it off, my fringe bag, and that's it, so that's my outfit for today, I'll bring you down. inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas for upcycled fashion. If you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform where there are three... This is a clue to what the weather is like outside. <laughs> Yesterday, oh, I'll just talk momentarily about the weather. Yesterday, it was snowing most of the day. It will snow and then it will stop and then it will snow and then it will stop. And I woke up to snow this morning. Um, and according to the weather news, that there should be lots of spells of sunshine, so it won't last. And it's not lasting actually, it's wet snow, so as soon as it lands on the ground, it just melts. But I'm taking precautions. Yes, I am. So some of you may have seen this before, so I'm in lilac, very peri, and I've teamed it with, is, it, is this thing? No, I do have that bit. Scarf on it, yes I do. Um, but no, I'm wearing fur, and I made these. I made scarf, I've even got my colour one underneath there, um, my clutch. I even put the trim, these being upcycled, put the trim around my gloves. It's cold, it's snowing, it really is. <laughs> anyway, and I was planning to wear these sparkly pants, but I was planning to wear them with a refashion shirt, which has um, got purples and pinks in it. But it's like, you know what, I, I, I wanna wear my pants. So yes, I'm wearing my disco pants with my platforms. 
<laughs> and so yeah, I'm prepared for the weather. If I do need to strip because it's getting too hot and the sun's saying, yes, I am going to shine for the rest of the day, then all I need to do is just take them off. Remove the gloves, put the gloves into my clutch. Like so. Oh, go in there as well, really. And my scarf, look scarf. And then it can still feel a bit nippy, and I've got the collar warm on. So, no jewelry because I just want to stay warm. And I'll show you the bottom half of me, so that means I've got to get dressed again, doesn't it? So that you can see. Anyway, yes, just stay scarf. Put that back on. Like that. Yeah, that's fine. And my gloves. And I bring you down so you can see the bottom half of me. Now that I've showed off my clutch. weekend this is the last outfit for the week and I'm blown into the black background aren't I <laughs> I'm sorry about that okay let's just continue so um uh, no I won't mention about that <laughs> other than just saying it's cold but the sun is shining it's been shining all morning um, so yeah, but I'm still staying cosy with my cable knit jumper, I've got a pole neck underneath, I wore this necklace early on in the week and I told you what it was, um, so yes, I've lengthened it, uh, earrings, let me see, I'm going to go for my silver clips, put those on. There we go, so the face is done, the neck is dressed and blurring out, but I hope you can see my cable knit pattern. Let me just come a bit closer. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. And I am going to be wearing gloves. These are the gloves to keep my hands warm. Don't like having cold hands. Or feet, for that matter, as well. Yeah, that's a good balance. And I am going to be wearing my black fur scarf. Like so. It has a little hole in there. You see, and I just poke that through. Oh yes, I feel all cosy now. And my 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 um, jumper has got a half tuck situation going on, and I'm wearing a pleated skirt. The bag I'm going to go for is this one, which has a cream trim around it, which kind of picks up with my footwear, which I'm wearing my knee high cream boots, and also my jumper. So I'll bring you down. don't need to tell you what you need to do next or should I if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please do like my video also if you enjoy my content on my channel then I would recommend that you hit that red button which is under the like button in order to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a video upload and don't forget to press the bell in order to receive notifications of when I actually upload so if like I said, if you enjoy my content, then I need you to subscribe because that helps my channel to grow. If you have any comments or queries, put those in the comment box below and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.